Hey guys, welcome to a new video on our channel Dash and Teresa. And today we have a special guest, someone who you may know if you watched our older video. So this is my sister Lynette, and today we have an interesting video idea. So we're gonna be going to what I think is one of the best spots in Prague, and she's gonna tell us what she thinks about it, if she likes it, and what she doesn't like about it. So I'm back. I'm sure you miss me. I've been many times, so he's got a hard challenge to show me stuff that I've never seen before, and I'm excited to see what's changed since the pandemic and everything. Should be a good day. All right, I'm excited. Let's go have fun, guys. So the first thing we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to what I think is one of the best wings and chicken shop in Prague right now and they make like such good fried chicken and it's called chicken and it's just by Davidson. Wow, okay, so I'm really excited. So anyone who knows me knows that wings are my sixth love language. So it's a tough challenge to live up to, but I'm excited. I have the food now, it arrived. So we ordered one whole chicken, two chicken strips, and chicken wings and chips, and two sauces. So when it comes, it's freshly cooked. The food dinner is all organic, so that means that they cook it all fresh. So this is what it looks like. It's looking good. Oh. Mm. Wow. This is such good chicken. You can feel like the tenderness in the middle, and then you have the crunchiness of the skin, and then you have the peppers, and it's a little bit spicy. It's got like a little bit of a kick, but this is such good chicken. Oh wow. Mm. Wow. So Lily is gonna start with wings, which you got. A little bit dip in the sauce. Very juicy actually. Yeah. I like it. So tell me, chicken, what did you like and what did you not really like? Um overall I think I liked that it was fresh and the seasoning was really nice on the wings and the strips. However, I think on the big piece of chicken, the chicken was a bit too big that the coating almost felt like you know like homemade was a bit thick and easily comes off the chicken so that's something that they can improve but overall good experience So we've been walking around Prague Castle for a bit. What's your overall impression? Um, first of all, I actually really love Prague Castle. I think it's a bit different to some of the European cities in terms of that it's very picturesque. I love the nature reserve and I have to say their castle is absolutely stunning in person. Um, so yeah, no complaints from me so far. It's just, it's just like a lovely day out. Highly recommend. So we've noticed these really cool things in front of the cathedral. They're like little uh, figurines that have been attached to the gates. I wish I could understand Czech, but they've been my favorite thing so far. And there's some like sowing seed, some like, um, I think like a, what do you call it? A metal, a black fryer, people cutting wood. So yeah, I wish I knew more about Czech history, but yeah, they're like really amazing. So we were on the back of the cathedral and that was quite nice, isn't it? Especially yeah, when and that was really, really nice, especially when the sun is just about to set. It's like a really, really lovely view and we've got some amazing photographs yeah. in that area. Yeah, make sure you follow us on the socials. Yeah, drop a few likes. We're dropping some reels and stuff. Yeah. So now I'm going to go to my hidden gem. 
no one's going here because it's hidden and it's private and i think you're gonna really like this one Ooh, what's in the hidden gem oh you're gonna find out for yourself so Lynette is about to discover the golden street Quickly, tell me what you think. Oh, it's really, really adorable. It's like little houses, uh, lots of different colors. Oh, that's cute. I've never been here before. Actually. Yeah, it's Hobbit houses. Yes, yeah, so I'm actually in the middle of watching Hobbit, so <laughs> yeah. I might actually get the reference soon. <laughs> Nah, guys, this view is really, really epic. You can see like um, most of the tourist spaces in Prague from this place. Yeah, love this bit. Probably one of my favorites so far. No, this is really cool actually. I've never been here before. I've been to Prague a few times, but I've never been down by the river or the boat, um, or by the boat, sorry. And they even have a restaurant. This is really cool. Yeah, so here one of the main attractions is also the ducks, and sometimes we get otters which come out, which you can feed. What's your impression? No, it's really nice actually. Uh, very calming. There's even like a little green bit where you can have picnics. But it's a very calming like break from sometimes, you know, just walking around the city centre. If you just want to come out, just clear your mind um, and just have a different view of the city. It's a really nice spot. What didn't you like? What didn't I like? Somebody bought their dogs, which were just chasing people and running in the water. So that was a bit annoying. Yeah, it's scaring the animals, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, hoping next time I can see the otters actually. Okay, I have to say, uh, you really outdid yourself so far. I've never been um, on the bit with the view of Prague, like that top hill bit, like the secret bit, and near the water actually. I've always going past the bridges, but never actually this close. So, so far you're doing really well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Make sure you subscribe for more <laughs> tips. Yeah. So, the next thing I want to show you did you know that in Prague we have the narrowest street to the traffic light? Ooh. Okay, let's go see. I've never seen this before. Yeah, 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 yeah. This one is actually quite cute. Before we get to the narrow street, come. I want to show you one of our national statues in Prague. Ooh. This one is quite popular. Okay. This is called the Franz Kafka Museum Square. Oh, nice. It's cute. It's very pretty. Yeah. Very pretty. This is the treasure which we have here. What's the statue of? As you can see, tourists are admiring because it says a statement. Come and see. Sit in the water. Now you can wait. What am I supposed to copy? Huh? What am I supposed to copy? You tell me what you think about it. So, this is the map of Czech Republic. Ah, okay. And the fellas are up to something, no, they're up to no good. Uh, okay, I understand. I didn't know that was a map of Czech Republic. So are they people who are anti-Czech Republic, basically? No, anti-establishment. Yeah. Okay. It's a, it's a little bit strange, isn't it? It is a bit strange, but it's called art. That's art for you. Is the narrowest street with a traffic light. So how it works? is when you want to go down so you don't clash with anyone it's telling you that it's green ah. and if it's red that means someone is coming up and you can press the button right there to go down yeah. give us that judgment oh, this is good. I like this. <laughs> no that was really cool actually that's a cute little find that's Eaten. Good. And look at these, these are really cool. What are they for? They just host. They're for watering the plants, I guess. Oh, <laughs> very niche. But 
it's an entrance to a restaurant um, with quite a nice view to be honest. So we're about to come to the end of our video. So the last place I want to show you is what's called the John Lennon Wall. Ooh. And this is the Wall of Peace. Okay. You know, where people express themselves to show, I guess, peace. So, Lynette, welcome to the Lennon Wall. Normally this place is super busy with like so many people taking pictures and right now it's being dedicated with poems about Ukraine. Oh, that's nice. So it's like a peace war where people come and write things yeah. for peace. Yeah. Oh, and I like the drawings. They're very, very pretty. Wow, this is, yeah, I think one thing that I noticed about Prague is it's got like really unique things. Something you'd never see anywhere else, but yeah, that's really awesome. Should we go and read a couple of them? Yeah. This was quite an um, interesting part of Prague and quite emotional actually. I had a read of some of the poems where they were drawing comparisons between like Scotland and England and what's happening now in Ukraine and Russia. Um, definitely some few like thought provoking poems. So I highly recommend if you're around whenever this is uploaded to come and check it out. And yeah, yeah, what a great way to end the evening for sure. So we are on our final stop and this is Charles Bridge. Tell me your thoughts. Okay, no, all I can say is that it's a very, very charming street, especially now like late evening when the sun's about to set, it's very, very lovely. One thing I would advise is maybe coming on a quiet season because it's quite busy. Um, but other than that, very charming street and love it, highly recommend. It's just a nice way to kind of go from the castle to the main part of the town. Yeah, it is a nice little transition without needing a boat yeah so we've come to the end of our video i hope you enjoyed this and i hope you enjoyed these cool places are taking you no thank you for taking me today was really amazing and i think you like i said exceeded your expectations yeah, yeah, yeah. i was able to see um prague from a different eye uh, which has been really amazing <laughs> and all like i said it's a very charming city and i can't wait to be back soon so like this video leave us a comment and subscribe and we're gonna see you in the next one Bye. ciao